But when you trade OTC derivatives, each contract that you enter into is a unique contract. So even if you buy one day and sell the next day, and your risk is essentially gone, you still have two individual contracts. And once you have been doing that for a couple of years, if you're a market maker, you are piling up all these contracts that actually doesn't contribute to your overall or desired risk profile. They're just there for legacy reasons. In the old days, uh, banks would actually try to tear up their trades on a bilateral basis. They would call each other, they would agree on the, on the number of trades that they usually would, would wish to, to uh, tear up but before their expiry date. But then they would run into all different kinds of problems. First of all, they would have to agree on the variations of those trades and the more often than not, this would actually probably result into uh, nothing at all or a very, very mediocre result. There is no absolute need to keep a trade uh, until its uh, expiry date, let's say in 10 or 15 years, if it can be compressed uh, much, much earlier. Imagine, if you will, um, I owe you five bucks and you owe Kelvin five bucks. And Kelvin, by some magical coincidence, he owes me five bucks as well. After a while, I get tired of it because for me, it's five dollars in, five dollars out. So one day, I try to call you and say, "Shall we just stop this 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 arrangement?" And actually, you want to stop it as well, but you can't stop it without Kelvin agreeing. So here we have three individuals who want to get out of this arrangement, but we can't because we are kind of caught. Enter Trout Tima with our compression service. How about all of you just get rid of this arrangement at the same time? And what's the end result? End result, we have less risk against each other. I'm happier because uh, now I don't have to track payments in and out. And um, everybody's balance sheet has, has gotten smaller. So Try Reduce is essentially uh, a method for all the market participants to come together in a multilateral context and in a very controlled and efficient manner getting rid of redundant contracts. In a large compression cycle, we could compress around 100,000 line items, and that would translate into a gross notional figure of somewhere around $10 trillion. And we used to run the cycle maybe once in three months, but now we run the cycle couple cycle a week. I think what really excites me as well is that we of course will continue to innovate so we really we describe ourselves as a as a trusted innovative and scalable partner in the industry. More and more we see different types of participants like insurance companies like hedge funds or asset managers. We have most certainly uh, enrich the compression catalog, so with all new uh, asset classes like cross currencies, inflation swaps, uh, FX forwards uh, in collaboration with the CLS, there has been much more focus on what can be compressed, and if it can be compressed, then actually it should be compressed. The compression business has played a tremendous role in enabling the OTC derivatives market to continue to live on.